Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. I predicted that today would be a momentous occasion due to the release of the Hinman emails in yesterday's movie. And the majority of you predicted that the documents would be a failure and that the price of XRP would plummet. It remains to be seen how that develops. I also won't be in a hurry to make a video about those papers. You can expect to see individuals hurrying to release their videos, therefore I plan to stick to my regular schedule. There will be much conjecture on their part. People will alter the language to make it more favorable to Ripple and XRP, as is customarily the case. I'd rather wait and simply give you the information. There will be so much to talk about during the Financial Service Committee's hearing on the future of digital assets that I plan to cover it in a second video. You will, no doubt, bring up Gary Gensler and the Securities and Exchange Commission, this may even overshadow the released paperwork. It remains to be seen what unfolds. Today. To reorganize the SEC Gov and get rid of Gary Gensler, I introduced the SEC Stability Act. Warren Davidson says this. The current or any future authoritarian chairman must not be allowed to harm the United States financial markets. That's why I'm proposing legislation to end the persistent misuse of authority and provide the market the long-term security it needs. Real change is needed, and SEC Chair Gary Gensler must go. It would be a huge deal if Gary got fired right now. If something like that happened, the crypto market as a whole would explode. When it came time to defend our markets, Tom Emmer was right there besides me. Clear and consistent oversight is what American investors and business need, not political gamesmanship. By instituting sensible reforms, the SEC Stabilization Act would make sure that the agency puts its focus where it belongs, on the investors it is tasked with protecting, rather than on the whims of its reckless chair. You know Gary isn't looking out for my best interests. In what way are you? He is watching out for the interests of the major financial institutions and planning forwards for life after his departure from the SEC. The fact that some politicians care about regular people like me and you is encouraging. The Winklevoss twins have warned that Democrats will suffer from a war on cryptocurrency. Cameron Winklevoss, a famous cryptocurrency tycoon, claims that the youth vote saved the Democratic Party in the United States in 2020 and that alienating young voters now will result in lost votes in the next election cycle. He tweeted that his twin brother, Tyler, with whom he co-founded crypto exchange Gemini in 2014, agreed that Senator Warren and Gary Gensler's war on crypto was going to alienate an entire generation of would-be Democrats. The Republican Party lost the midterms because of Roe v. Wade. On Sunday, Tyler made a tweet. A lawmaker has warned Gary Gensler that the Democrats' fight on crypto will cost them the 2024 election. I predict that cryptocurrency will play a significant role in the 2024 election because any candidate who supports the technology will want to discuss it at every possible opportunity. Keep an eye on it. As a crypto investor, I can't wait to see how everything develops. However, I believe that many of these politicians are disconnected from the opinions of young people. Consider this. They are huge fans of NFTs, Gamify, and crypto. For them, it represents the inevitable future. They're underestimating them, in my opinion, as are these politicians. They will not be giving them their support. Hold your horses. Price of XRP to skyrocket, says SBI, Ripple decision, due in weeks. Furthermore, the CEO of SBI Holdings has remarked that he anticipates a significant increase in XRP pricing should the court decide in favor of Ripple. He thinks this is a big deal, and it might boost both XRP's price and its broad adoption in the digital finance industry. I believe the price of XRP will be quite high if the decision is reached that it is a coin or cryptocurrency. And I'm not sure he's wrong, either. I anticipate a rapid change in value. Most people would be priced out very quickly if XRP had that clarity right now, thus investors should keep XRP in their portfolios at all times. Clarity The financial institutions will join as quickly as they can. 
A lawyer who supports XP said the SEC will stomp on cryptocurrencies until large financial institutions control the market. This time it's Johnny Deaton speaking. It's not over for crypto. I shall repeat myself. Market dominance is the ultimate goal. Next, keep an eye on JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs. Etc. will receive a larger portion, after which they will contact Gensler to discuss a potential plan of action. Yes, he is correct in saying that. I believe that in addition to buying up cryptocurrency, banks are also storing it. And they're only buying up specific tokens, as you well know. Keep in mind that 99% of crypto will go to zero, as predicted by Brad Garlinghouse. That's why it's important to keep an eye on the bank's investments and collaborations. That's where your focus should be, too. JP Morgan claims that the SEC's increased scrutiny of cryptocurrency exchanges over the past week has increased the pressure on U.S. lawmakers to develop a comprehensive regulatory framework this year. Keep in mind what I indicated in an earlier video about why FTX dropped at that time. There was a precise time and cause for Gary Gensler to go renegade and become anti-crypto. Because our government usually moves at a snail's pace, the sudden rush to create legislation around crypto is surprising. I believe it's all about fast-tracking regulations so that a CBDC may also be fast-tracked. The CTO of Ripple thinks XRP is great for everyone who's fed up with banks. Those who aren't already investing in cryptocurrency and who are keeping their savings in the bank would be wise to do so immediately. Freedom from financial worries is within reach. You will not gain independence from the bank financially. On Sunday, Ripple CTO David Schwartz tweeted his agreement with a string of tweets from Understanding the Crypto Economy author Panos Macris about XRP standing. Macris explained what he sees as XRP's ultimate goal. He stressed that it was not intended for financial institutions or banks. Instead, XRP was created to undermine their hegemony and provide users with a better P2P payment system. Moreover, David said, I agree with that post. This is also true. The financial institutions fear XRP and Ripple. Consider this. With XRP, a lot of the costs the bank charges presently can be avoided. That's why they're filing suit with the SEC to try to slow down Ripple and XRP. A top Canadian institution has partnered with cryptocurrency startup Ripple to launch a new XRP validator. The University of Toronto, currently the largest university in Canada in terms of student body size, has formed a partnership with the Silicon Valley firm Ripple. As part of the collaboration, U of T will operate a decentralized XRP ledger validator with an emphasis on financial transactions. And that's crucial because it demonstrates how Harvard discusses XRP, as I've mentioned in earlier videos. The University of Toronto has expressed interest in XRP and is beginning to operate a validator on the payments ledger. Pay attention to it, because if XRP weren't the future, it wouldn't be happening. Nothing like that would ever be discussed at Harvard. The cost of their education is far too great for them to be engaging in discussions concerning certain cryptocurrencies. If they weren't leaving for quite some time. Anthony Welfare, Ripple CBDC advisor, using peer support to highlight the practical applications of the XRP ledger and the NFT's virtual world. Anthony Welfare, a CBDC advisor at Ripple, is enthusiastic about the potential of the XRP ledger for verifying NFTs and other real-world assets. As an application of XRP ledger in the real world, NFTs can be used to validate the digital chip in the NFT QR code at a welfare site or with an artwork purchase. When NFTs initially appeared, many predicted that the market would quickly dry up because it's just digital art and it's never going anywhere. And I kept emphasizing, pay close attention to the NFTs connection if your coin relies on it. Put money into it since it has future potential. At this point, NFTs are beginning to show practical applications and benefits in the actual world. This sector has barely begun to take off. It will eventually become extremely popular. Then there's the issue of international transactions, which has dominated the conversation about XRP for the past three to four years. 
Tokenization is the next big thing, and you should focus on it because that's where the money is. That's the wave of the future. After that, you start thinking about carbon credits. The very concept of carbon credits repulses me. Consider it a tax on the future. Again, you can rest assured that you made the right investment because Ripple and XRP are intrinsically linked to the success of the entire sector. You have made the decision to leave the crypto industry. You undoubtedly do. You can achieve this by waiting, remaining optimistic, and sticking firm on the price you're willing to pay. The XRP I own will never be sold by me. The more I see things being built out, the more value I see coming, and I know there will be additional items in the future that bring even more value. Items that haven't even been thought of yet. Take that into consideration. This is why I advocated for earning passive income while holding XRP indefinitely. That's going to arrive pretty quickly since everything is starting to move lot faster now, and it's probably the best chance you have. The pace at which technology is developing is astounding. That being said, I'm going to end this video. Please accept my gratitude for tuning in. And please like and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video, bye.